in contentious situations, it's common to get stuck because you're afraid that opening issues up will worsen the argument. Another tendency is to oversimplify the conflict to just right and wrong, some sort of binary thinking believing that the other person is totally at fault and that you bear no responsibility. You're not at fault. Now, such oversimplification narrows the options for eventual reconciliation, making either or both of you hesitant to make any move. In that state, you stop hearing each other, which makes it more difficult to move towards a productive resolution. So think of it like both of you are trying to meet each other, but then because of all of these difficulties or all of these uh, obstacles, you're just there, you're just close to one another, but you haven't really met. Okay? And uh, that's going to be a very difficult situation if we don't try our best to actually move beyond our tendencies for, for such binary thinking. When you feel hurt and distanced from someone you care about deeply, what you need is to feel heard and fully understood, two key aspects of feeling emotionally met. In order for this to happen though, you have to understand your own needs and feelings first, and then speak those needs and feelings aloud, part of self-disclosure. Now remember, no one is a mind reader, then and only then can you move into mutual problem solving and repair. Contentious situations uh, usually indicate that multiple issues are at play. So it's never just one problem or one issue, which probably you or both of you don't even realize initially. When strong emotions such as anger get out of control, it's like throwing gasoline on a fire and leads to a major flame. But if managed and understood, these strong emotions can help us see that the more emotions we feel, the more likely it is that there is something deeper going on. Which is why it's important for us to properly recognize and even own these emotions. Handling difficult interpersonal issues doesn't require using exactly the right words at exactly the right time. Okay? It's not about being a perfectionist when you try to resolve issues or conflicts. The most valuable lesson in these situations is the, impor the importance of being persistent. Hanging in there and turning towards each other can take patience, self-management, and a willingness to go a few rounds. But remember, it is only by doing this will you find out that it is all worth it.